Hi guys, welcome to my channel and for today's video I have this pop art inspired look. So to start off this look, of course I'm going to be drawing out the brows and I use a black eyeliner, pencil eyeliner first because I don't want to mess up with the liquid eyeliner so I just did a sketch of that. This is my e.l.f. liner. I don't really use it because it's not my favorite. So I'm just going over the brows with that so it can set and be like really bold. Because in pop art, you want it to be bold. So I'm just going to go over this. And the shape of the brows is kind of like worried. Whatever. <laughs> you know the look. And I do that on both sides. And to be honest, this was difficult. Everything in this was so difficult, but I did it anyways. And of course, after every step, after I do a, like the liner look, girl, did you steal my man? After I do the liner look in every step, I tend to clean it up with concealer or my foundation. I don't show you guys that because it takes a while, but if there's like a section that you, that you guys see that is messy or whatever, I clean it up with concealer or foundation. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Where is all? I know. Alright, now I'm gonna do eyeliner because this gotta be fierce, you know. Please don't stare at my brows too much. <laughs> so now, um, the pop art look that I'm going for, I'm doing it like the eye part based on another look. So uh, what I'm gonna do is do a liner look, like eyeliner, and of course, you know, eyeliners, they're really hard, but whatever, I did it anyways, and I think I did a pretty good job. <sighs> I'll fix that. And I have to duplicate that. It's gonna be the hardest thing ever. Oh my god, my grades are slipping. It was after the eyeliner, I cleaned up the bottom part with concealer so it could be sharper. You know, cut somebody. Now this part was so difficult, I changed it like about 15 times because like it was crooked and messy, but all I did was use concealer and foundation to clean it up. Oh, Jetty, that was so difficult. One little line and I, I almost lost it. Next step, I'm gonna go over the eyes. It's like of a, course you guys do not see. need to go over the the look with um, pencil liner than liquid. If you are confident enough, you can go in with liquid. But I did not want to mess up, so of course I had to go in with pencil first. And I bit and I did both sides, and it was pretty good. I'm so worried. All right, let me finish. Now, of course, I'm going under the eye. I did not know what I was going for, so I just did it. And um, as usual, I did my pencil and then the liquid line. Tell me why my eye look looks like birds, like the wings of the bird. Like I'm gonna fly away any minute. <laughs> oh my goodness. This may look easy, but trust me, it's not. And I had to keep my eyes down in order for it to dry. Now I'm doing the nose and it's, you guys can see basically, I'm just outlining the side because this look was more on like a side look, not really a front look, if you guys understand. So I'm just carving out the nose so it looks like pop art. You feel me? Okay. to go underneath the nose to black it out because that's how the pop art look is so from the front it looks so weird but from the side you know I have that look I was going for
Now I'm going to carve out the cheekbones and you guys can do this any way you want if you guys are doing a pop art look of course. And um, just going into that with black liner. Okay, now it's a lip color. I was gonna do red, but then I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna do pink. And this is a color I don't use, but I felt like it went great with this look. So I'm just using this random bright pink lipstick and it smells like bubble gum. <laughs> First you have to outline the entire lips and then you have to put like the little crease in in the center so it looks like creasy lips. <laughs> I don't know how to explain. You guys can see what I'm doing but I had to do like a really thick outline so it looks more pop art. Shout out to my camera woman, my sister, moving and giving you guys all types of angles. You feel me? No, I don't. Anyways. See, this is what I was talking about with the whole creasy things. I had to draw lines in order for it to look a little bit more, I don't know, like lips and pop art lips. After this, I was like, oh no, this is not working. It's not. So, in the next step, I went over that creasy thing with more lipstick so it can look more faded. Yeah, right there. My lips look really chapped. <laughs> chapped, creasy lips. <laughs> okay. Now after this, of course, you have to go over that with white liner so it looks like the light is shining on it because why wouldn't we want shiny, creasy lips? Okay. <laughs> the lips took so long. I can't. But that that's this is my favorite part right here so in order for me to get the tears like the blue to pop i had to put concealer down and that's like a creamy concealer it's from like a cream palette so when i put that down i just take took like a really small brush and use a blue shadow and just pat it on there i didn't set this so like it could just really be pigmented when i put it down here you guys can see me putting the color down and it's really showing like never before <laughs> This blue color also is from my Shaney Cosmetics palette, the palette with one like 180 colors. These colors are not pigmented on their own, so I had to use the concealer base, as I said. And then now I'm going over that with my Wet n Wild white cons um, <laughs> white eyeliner pencil, and this is just for like the highlighted teardrop effect. But over this, of course, I went over that with white eyeliner, like actual white eyeliner. Right now, right now it looks retarded, but you guys will get the vision when I put the black lines around it. Yeah, there we go. So, this was extremely difficult. I'm surprised that I got it. Like, seriously. 
so I just had to carve out the teardrops in order for them to look like they pop and I didn't do it completely like I left some parts out like cuts in them so they look a little bit more I don't know it looked better that way to me I don't know Okay, I did the rest off camera and now I'm doing the chin split <laughs> for cleft effects. <laughs> now I'm going to carve out the jawline and I admit I could have done it a little bit lower because I don't know, for some reason I didn't like where it was. But of course I couldn't change that right now. So um, you guys can carve it out to whatever shape you like. But this is what I did. <laughs> and now I just put some black eyeshadow under there for a shadow effect because you know pop art you kind of like can't see some part of the neck so like the black was really the look for this it made me look like my um, face was floating anyways so you just get a lot of eyeshadow and just fade it into your neck to give you that nice look. This is the part where I'm like, oh I'm getting somewhere. Now I'm putting on little lashes because I didn't want to put on actual lashes. So I started drawing some lashes on and um, I guess it worked. So yay. <laughs> Let's give it up for my neck effect. Like when I move my hands, you can see that neck. Like it looks floaty and so cool. I like it. The neck was my favorite part if you guys can't tell. <laughs> Now I'm just going over that part of the eye with white liner so it looks like my eyes are bigger and and uh, open more, I guess. Oh, and whatever I do on the other side, I do it on this side. And look at my sister trying to help me out. Now I have to go all the way down the neck because I felt like halfway wasn't enough. So I'm just going to put more shadow on my neck because why not? If you're going to go all out with a pop art look, just go all out. Look how serious I am. I'm so into this. <laughs> okay, so this part, my sister helped me with the dots. Like She put dots all over my face because of course I can do that. And so I just finished up like uh, some of them fixed it and then now I realized that this side of my face needed cheekbones too so I started going under the dots and then I went over them and then dramatic effect okay guys so I'm done doing this crazy thing to my face and if you guys like it give me a thumbs up share this video and leave a comment hi how are you doing?